Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. We've got apple juice today. Cheers, love. So, in today's video, I want to look pretty. <laughs> I want to do something pink and I want to do something glitter. I haven't done glitter in a long time. Today's the day. We're going to do it. We're going to do it today. Yeah. I don't know why. I just want to feel really girly, really pretty, if I can. <laughs> so, let's just straight into this video. I don't know why my hair is looking like flatty. It needs a bit of volume. Oh no. So the first thing we're going to do is the eyes. And I'm going to start by using this MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hours of Sten Eye Base. I don't know if this is like still good because I've had it for years. I'm going to tap that right on with my ring finger. I like packing this on with my ring finger because I feel like this is like the best way I can get like an even... What's it called? What's that thing called? Base, like an even base. Next thing to do is to find an eyeshadow palette. I am useless and I didn't come prepared before coming to you guys. So hold on whilst I go and find an eyeshadow palette for, for us to use. This just got delivered to me like last week. It's the Jeeves Place Mini Palettes. This is the Sweet Pink Palette by Jeeves Place. Ooh, pretty. Should I swatch it for you guys? That's some shimmers. Oof! Let's get some mats in there. Wow. She's, she's pigmented. I'm scared. <laughs> I wasn't really like planning to go this pink today. I was really gonna do like a soft pink vibes. So we're gonna leave her to the side for another video. I think I'm gonna go with another palette. I think I'm gonna use it for more of my colourful makeup looks. I think I'm gonna use this black owned brand. I don't really have to pronounce this. I'm just gonna like show you guys. This is the self made palette it is really gorgeous really pretty i love this shade what's the shade called billions yep that is stunning oh you guys can't even see it on camera properly but it's absolutely stunning let's swatch and um, rich defo rich in color defo let's swatch rich auntie love that oof love that rich auntie color and let's do cash is king oh my god i love the names of this we've got like Self-made money bags, ka-ching, make money, money, investment, wealthy baby, cash rich. This is so cute. It's really pigmented as well. <sighs> Quite a bit of fallout. Just from me swatching it, there was a bit of fallout, but the pigmentation, up there. So I'm going to start off with Rich Auntie. Let's just stamp that onto our outer corners. Oh, pigment. Can I say something? I'm gobsmacked. Wow. Come through, black businesses. Me like it. I won't lie to you guys, there is a lot of fallout though. Like I said, with any brand, I don't mind as long as like it's pigmented and it shows up. I don't really care about it. But if you do care about it, there is a bit of fallout. I just mix self-made and I'm rich together to give me that transition color. And I'm just going back in with Rich Auntie and just use that to blend in between those two shades. This palette is like pretty damn good. Like it's really pigmented, I like it. I'm gonna grab Billions, which is this shade. Do I need to wet it? Let me check. I'm gonna use this to cut my crease without going in and cut my crease first. Yeah, I do need to wet it because it'll just be flaky on my eyes. Oh, that's a really pretty shade. Oh, that is stunning. Should I put a glitter on this? Kind of liking how it's looking already. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just gonna go in quickly with Rich Auntie, just on the outer corners, just to merge the two together. Use my ring finger if I have to, which I most likely do. I have some glitter, some pink glitter that I got from eBay. This. I'm gonna use some NYX Glitter Primer. Just gonna grab a tiny bit of that in the back of my hand. Just a smidge. Just a smidge, 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 smidge. Same flat brush that I used to apply the shimmer. Just gonna tap that on top first and then go in with our glitter. Oh! Yo, you guys can't even see it. Now it's really upsetting me that you guys can't see the full effect of this. Now I know why I stopped with glitter. Cause it just gets everywhere, like my whole table right now is full of glitter. Like, I don't understand. What well, this was a little bit. Good thing I haven't primed my face yet. Oh my days, there's glitter everywhere. Let's do some eyeliner. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Collection Fast Drake 
mascara use that to just prep our eyelashes you know what i think i'm just gonna turn this into a wing i swear to you this lash always lays better than this one for some reason i was gonna tell you that it's glitter Every upon my face it's even in my eye at this point we are just gonna have to suffer for the rest of this video i'm gonna start off by using the charlotte tilbury magic cream i'm gonna slap that on my face massage it in like so now i'm gonna go in my teeth is hang over rx primer i'm gonna use this urban decay all nighter setting spray as well Oh, there's glitter in my eye, I can barely see. Now that the skin is prepped, I am going to go in with this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Hazelnut. And you guys know that the new technique that we've been doing, grab a concealer, go in with my Morphe M335 brush, and then just pat it underneath the eyes. And I'm going to go in with my Beauty Sponge and just blend that even more. Really press that into the skin. Skin. don't get scared if you're new to my channel we are going to look 10 10 afterwards okay just trust the process so now we're going to go in with another concealer the first step is for like a base underneath the eyes and now we're going to go in with the nars natural radiance creamy concealer in the shade amand doing this i believe will give you that bright flawless under eye that you're looking for this is a new technique that i've been loving i don't know if anyone else does this but I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person to do this. I really should seen a change in my makeup. Everything just looks really good. So I'm just blending that out. It might sound dumb to you guys, but my logic is when I put my foundation on first, almost my concealer is gonna mix in with my foundation and it's gonna tone down the brightness of the concealer. You guys already know that I personally don't like using really, really bright concealers for my under eye to hide on my face just because I'm not really trying to change my shade but lately i have been liking a little bright you know something something underneath the eyes which is lovely right now we're looking crazy we're gonna put foundation on now okay so the foundation we're gonna use today is a mixture we're gonna be using the Too Faced born this way foundation with the nars sheer glow foundation this is in the shade tiramisu and this is in the shade zambi i do like mix the foundation sometimes for the color but sometimes I do like mixing it for the texture of my foundation, if that makes sense, like the way it wears. And I'm just going to go in and buff that right into the skin. The coverage on these two foundation is beyond me, mate. Listen, I didn't step down my whole wig because... Mind your business, okay? Now I'm just going to go back in with the NARS Radiant Screamer Concealer again and highlight the rest of my face. Like so, so now I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. You guys already know what I do. I use it for my highlighted areas. So now what I'm gonna do now is go in and set the rest of my face and I'm gonna use this Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Press Powder in the shade Dark. You guys see the glitters? I don't know how glitter got into here because this was closed. Glitters are literally like little whores. They wanna be everywhere. I'm just going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, our favourite on the channel. This is what we're using to really set the concealer in place. So to bronze and contour today, I'm going to use three shades from Makeup Session. And I'm going to use Fenty Beauty Make Mami as well. Haven't used it in a long time on the channel, so we're bringing her back. Grabbing the shade Queen, which is this shade right here. I'm so sorry you guys didn't hit the trains. <sighs> There's nothing I can do, okay? And I'm rich, I'll move. So make sure you watch my videos. I did make her mommy on top. So let's finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go back into this palette. Grab Rich Auntie again. Pop that on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Night and Setting Spray again. I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss lip gloss in the shade vanilla cream pie yeah and i'm just going to go on top of that with my lip gloss
so my loves this is the end of this video i look very very pink but i love it oh this is sweet what do you guys think about this look for some weird reason i wanted to do a pink glitter look for like the month now and i just haven't got around to doing it but today it's done thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys like this video if you do please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe down below if you're new to my channel and inshallah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys